Good day, good day, everyone. This is Cheesy, and uh, today, uh, or tomorrow, is Australia Day today in Australia. Uh, but for me in the U.S., it is tomorrow going forward in time here. So uh, I thought I would do something a little bit interesting today. Um, I'm going to be hopping on F1 2020 and uh, doing the only logical thing to do on Australia Day is play my uh, favorite uh Australian driver. I think he's the only Australian driver on the grid. It is uh in, in, in Melbourne, you know. Is uh Danny Rick. So uh th- this is how it's gonna go guys. Uh I'm playing on controller today. You won't hear as uh any noises, hopefully not. Um but I had a foot injury, I have to stay off it for uh, a little while. So no uh pedal videos, no no wheel videos. Uh, anytime soon making different types of content but i hope you guys do enjoy that but uh let's head out on the track here and uh see what kind of times we can put in with uh danny rick's Renault. this is uh his old car not his new car right now um but let's see what kind of times we can uh try to keep up with in his uh old car you know i think that uh we can, i can set a competitive pace in this Renault. uh as it isn't much different than the Alpha Tower, as it is, uh, I, I guess, kind of similar. Uh, you know, it's not it's not a main speed car. It's not a high speed car. And I'm familiar with this circuit here after just driving it. I think like last week in our uh, in our in a career mode series, both career mode series. If you haven't checked that out, go be sure to check that out. But uh, purple first after S, it should be because the default goes is uh pretty pretty slow i do have to be honest it's uh not the best and uh not invalidating which is nice but uh australia day it, it is uh we don't celebrate that here uh, for obvious reasons in the u.s because uh i don't think anywhere else except australia celebrates it but uh i have family down in australia down under and uh it, we should just celebrate you know great day you know, uh, I was, uh, there's probably going to be a video tomorrow uh, that I'm going to be making coming out in Assetto Corsa. You know, nothing more Australian than uh, driving in a Ute, so maybe a Ute race. If you want to see that, comment down below, but I think it's going to happen. Uh, so, yes, that's going to be pretty interesting. And uh, not a bad time for my first run with the, the uh, Xbox controller. I haven't, honestly, I have not played with the Xbox controller in a hot minute. It's been a while. So, you know, just trying to get back on the, the, the feeling of it and uh, trying to see kind of how, how to steer. I, like, I, I lost full control of the steering wheel. I'm like, all over the place here because you lose that muscle memory, I feel like. But, uh,. If any of you are Australian, let me know down in the comments. That, that, that'll be interesting. I'm going to see if I have any Australian viewers. Uh, KB, we're probably going to have a podcast tomorrow coming out. If you haven't checked out these mug nuts, be sure to... That's invalidated for sure, yeah. If you haven't checked out these mug nuts, be sure to check that out because uh, we'll probably have a special podcast uh, having to do with Australia Day, obviously, because he has a koala bear. And, uh, you know, he has some heritage back to uh, Australia, I'm assuming, even though he's Indian, maybe like first generation Indian, families from Australia, I don't know how that works, that last corner messes me up so much, I don't know what's going on, but this will probably be a nice clean lap, I think, I that's nice, I didn't know how we lost time there, but, uh, okay, so up to, up to 10 from this first turn, in your Ricardo, though, let's talk a little bit about him, the Australian, the Aussie Honey Badger. Probably one of my favorite drivers, if you guys have been following the channel for any amount of time. I do talk to him, talk about him a lot, and he's my favorite driver. Um, just, just a genuine guy, uh, a great driver, and uh, like an Aussie, as I said. Um, he grew up in Perth, which is... Uh, on the uh, west coast of uh, Australia, so you have Sydney, which uh, is where the, this track is, or no, not Sydney, Melbourne, uh, which is where this track is. 
and uh, he was born on the other side of the continent. Um, but and that, that, that's actually where my uh, family is from, Perth, Australia. But it's a uh, pretty, pretty small, relatively city. And then you obviously have the outside parts of Perth that are uh, a little bit bigger, or a little, a little, a little bit uh, smaller as well. But uh, nice place. Been there probably four or five times. Nice place. Uh, and this track is quite one of the uh, best tracks that I that I like. It's probably this in Austria on my favorite tracks. Um, obviously. Racing them, watching them is not so interesting because uh, everybody's just getting testing in, and uh, you might even not get one this year, which will be uh, disappointing to see. Um, I really do want one this year, uh, just just because that would be really fun and really interesting just to be back there. We haven't been back there this year, so maybe next year or for this upcoming season, we'll, we'll get a chance to uh, race in Australia. Danny Rick can take a podium with his new team for the first time. I don't know. I mean, he had he he he's, he's able to do it. But that, that, that's the thing. We'll try it. What was that? Ah, uh, I need I need to get resituated. Uh, can you uh instant replay? Let's instant replay that. Cause that, that was a nice turn. Uh, okay, X is flashback. So uh, let's not do it in between the gears there. Invalidate a lot. Right, that makes sense, but uh, I want to see how fast I can get it. You can't get that rotation of the wheel with the uh, with the Xbox controller as you can with the actual wheel. Obviously, the rotation is much less, so you have to slow down a lot more. And being on the throttle is not as easy. All right, so uh, almost a tenth behind now. All right, there. Okay, so just invalidating me left and right, I see how it is. I see, I see what, what all the fuss is about. But, so I think the Australia Day is the, uh, is the, uh, emancipation of the, of the state. I'm not 100% sure. I will figure that out, but, uh, I, I, I just, just on my calendar, so I thought, you know what, this, this will make for a, a good video pretty fun interesting video and uh, I think it should just driving around Melbourne maybe uh, playing some set of course at the back because it was nice and uh, here we are I'll probably do a couple more laps you know just keep on talking and uh, then it'll be a wrap but uh, yeah, it's sad that this wasn't counted but that was a nice exit out of what was that turn four turn five Um, I'm just not being able to play with the view at all. Not being able to get in the. Uh, so yeah, maybe the the uh, progress on the my team stuff may be halted for just a little bit longer because I'm not able to get to the view right now. So that, that that is it is what it is. Mm. All right, I'm keeping it on that. That that was a nice lap. That was. This pull off. Can you, can you pull off. That was a nice lap, I think. All right then, uh, guys, that's it. That's uh, Australia Day around Australia with an Australian driver. It's a mouthful, but that's what it is. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. And guys, until next time, peace. Have a good one. Happy Australia Day.